All right, we've got the uh, cylinder head on the bench, and we've got a straight edge on it, and we're checking for flatness. Uh-oh, here's the problem, right? This is where she blew out, and uh, there seems to be a low spot there where we can see the light through. So, I think we're going to have to have some reconditioning done on this head. It is now Monday, and we picked up our new head gasket here. So, we're all set, except we're going to use some Permatex copper sprayer gasket on it. You can use aluminum paint too if you want. And uh, so we're going to spray that gasket down. And uh, we need to do both sides. We do let it check and then do another to the other side. Yeah, what we'll do is uh, we'll let that tack for about a minute and then we'll put another coat on. I think we'll put about uh, uh, three coats on there. All right, we're just about ready to put our head gasket on. Now, what we did on the, the block was we scraped it down with a razor blade and then we washed it down with some lacquer thinner. So here's our head gasket all ready. Now on the one side of the head gasket you'll see that it's crimped over all the way around the combustion chamber. We want that down and uh, it's, it's sticky as hell so I want to touch the surface but, uh, but I had to right there. Yeah, you got no choice. All right, so it's not right down there flush, but when we put the cylinder head down, that will, that will push it down the rest of the way. Now, before we put our cylinder head down, we have to make sure that the distributor drive shaft right here is not hung up underneath the gasket. All right, we want to... There. Just like that. Otherwise, you can see that it will go underneath the gasket, and that wouldn't be good at all. We're ready to put the cylinder head on. Uh, you want to make sure you have this surface right here for the water outlet clean. All right, here we go. Let me get up here first. All right, I'm in position. Gotta put the eyes on first. Yep. I can't really I can't really see where they are. Is that one of them? Yep. Yep, okay, there it is. Alright. Alright, you're gonna lower that yep, down. I'm gonna lower it. Okay, here you go. I think. Looks like you're going down. Looks like looks like the front is the uh, the part that uh, You're going down. I have to make sure I don't go too far. I know, you don't want to cock it. There you go. One tap on the...
All right. Sounds solid. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, we have all the nuts on the head down finger tight. And we're going to put on the water outlet. We've got some high temp silicone on there as a sealer. So we're going to uh, put the nuts on there, and then we're going to start torquing the head down. Okay, so you're going to start? Start now. Alright, so the your torque wrench is set at 30 foot-pounds? Go ahead, Dan. Right. Go ahead. And the, Just started the kick. And the sequence is from the middle towards the outer edges. Two. That's number four. I bet most people haven't seen a torque wrench like yeah. that. So we're starting the the next sequence and you said that's forty? Forty. Forty, okay. So we're gonna do the same sequence from the middle. One. To the edge at 40 foot pounds. Two. All right, so now you're turning so now you're turning the, the last sequence to 50 foot pounds. And so you're gonna torque it down to 50. And then what are you gonna do? Then reverse it. What do you mean reverse it? Go from 14 to 1. Oh, reverse reverse your sequence. Yep. Instead, then, of, instead of going from one to one to three, to, it's four, four. Then back again to one. No kidding. Five steps. Uh, full torque, I reverse, and then I've got to heat it up. Put it, finish putting it together. Yeah. Heat it up. Take the distributor out. Go all through the whole thing again, because oh. you can't do that one with the distributor. Oh boy. So oh, I got it for 50. Okay, so you got it set for 50. And this is the last torque sequence. Now we've taken the distributor out, so we've altered our timing, so we're retiming it. Now this is the timing pin that we have pushed into the timing cover. Now we're going to rotate the engine and when it's timed correctly, this little pin will go into the dimple in the uh, timing gear. So uh, go ahead, Dad. Right there. See that right in there? That's at top dead center right now. Now, after the engine has been timed, this is the relationship that the drive pin for the distributor will be in. Just like this. Now this has to be lined up with that shaft that he showed you down in the hole, and this is in approximately... The rotor should be in that position right there? Facing approximately where it should be, uh -huh. and there's a pin that goes into this. All right, the pin on the bottom of the body locates into the cylinder head. Am I in there? I think it dropped Now right I'm going to turn this in to hold the distributor. So it won't come back out. See, now it's held tight. It won't come up. Now that I've tightened the screw in there tight, I tighten this up. That's the jam, right? That jams it so it won't go. Now we're all done with the distributor. Except for putting the cap on and have to put the plug in. All right, everything's back together. The coolant's in. And he just jumped in, and he's going to try to fire it off, so let's see what happens. Holy mackerel! Boy, that's that quick. What's that? Yeah. So now what do we got to do? We got to heat it up and, and uh, re-torque those... Uh, 
retorque those head nuts. He uh, just took the truck for a test ride up the uh, local uh, steep hill around here. And he's going to come back and we'll know the verdict. Well, he's back soon. So what? So what's the verdict? What? That's a pow. Oh yeah. Wow. Fly. Great. Couldn't fly. Go all the way up. Uh, all the way up West Street. Driveway. Yep. At the end. Right across into that driveway. Back out. Past state stuff. Back out west. Good. Hopefully it's like that for a long time. All right. As I say, blood guts and power of four. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is to putting in a head gasket in a Model A Ford.